today I'm going to be showing you a free application which uh, is an ideal uh, DVD audio or music burner software for CDs and video so the application is free I'll put the link in the sidebar it's called burn what burn is it's a open source free software which is very easy to use it lets you burn a data CD audio video or a copy of a CD or a di disk image so for example you can set the preference which one you want you can use Mac or PC just PC Mac HFS plus or DVD UDF we can set advanced settings but the normal settings seem to work fine I just use Mac and PC obviously for audio you can change the settings again same with video so for data for example if you just want to call the data CD just data you want to go in and you want to find some data for example I'll just use a document here say you wanted to burn some a uh, PDF file you put it in, it shows you the size, which is 9.3 megabytes. You can add data, you can change the settings, and you can burn. It's very simple to use. And same with audio, I'll just call it uh, yep, so keep it as that. I'll drop some music in. over here from my music folder and I'll just get some quickly I'll just add these two, these three and as you can see there there are four, uh, four tracks for the mp3 and you click burn again it's very easy to use also with video which is a good thing it allows you to uh, it will convert the video for a file that plays through the DVD so if you haven't got the right file for an example I'll just put one of my videos in and if it's not the right file it will convert it to the right one so for example there Mine was an MP4 file, but it will change it to a DVD MPEG. And there you see it encodes, depending on the size and the quality of the video and the processor on your computer, it may take may vary in time, but average is pretty quick. And then for a copy you can drop a disk image in. So if I've got a disk image somewhere, I think I've got one. Uh, so I can just drop in that one and you can create a disk image as you can see there you can it shows you the size of the disk image which is 4.89 and you can click burn but this is just a very easy to use free piece of software like I said I'll put the link in the sidebar I uh, hope you enjoyed if there's any more tips you want me to do, do just Drop me a message. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.